Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today and we're down here in sunny South Florida and we're going to be showing you another beautiful boat by Marine Connection. This is a 2002 Mako 293 walk around and it is powered by a pair of Mercury 225 Optimax motors. Our service department has done a mechanical inspection, compression check, etc. has checked out fine on both motors. Uh, they have a total of 277 hours on them. And uh, well, as you can see, uh, or as you will see in the video, uh, once we run the boat, that they, they're in good condition. Uh, starting at the back of the boat, we have a large swim platform, and over on the starboard side, we have a heavy duty Armstrong boarding ladder. Uh, for those of you who like diving and whatnot, it's easy, to, easy access on and off the boat with uh, heavy gear. The uh, motors themselves are equipped with hydraulic steering, and they have twin cylinders, so nice, smooth, uh, easy uh, steering on the boat. There's a nice uh, transom door for easy access in and out of the cockpit. And then once inside the cockpit uh, to the on the starboard side gunnel, we have a fresh water transom shower, and then we also have a raw water wash down. Uh, center of the transom, nice live well recirculating. And then over on the uh, port side, we have a bait prep station with a uh, sink and whatnot. Easy access down into the bilge area. Okay, you get to your primer bulbs and whatnot through here, fuel water separators. Cockpit courtesy lights, self bailing deck. You have both drains at the back of the corners on the uh, cockpit here. Two large fish boxes on either side, and they do have a macerator. Under gunnel rod holders, combing bolsters, and then we have four gunnel mounted rod holders. Notice how thick the gunnels are on the boat, okay? Um, as far as the cockpit goes, you got seven feet in, uh, in uh, sorry, seven feet in width and about uh, six feet, I'd say, sort of, five and a half feet uh, in length. So you're going to have a total of about 35 to 40 square feet of a cockpit area. Storage compartments on either side. And then we have access all the way up to the bow. Notice that we have a nice deep channel up here getting up to your access to the bow. And uh, through this channel, will give you some additional safety as far as getting around the boat. In those days, it's a little rough and whatnot. Short power hookups over on the uh, starboard side of the boat here. And then you'll see in the pictures that we do have a windlass up at the front of the boat. And we also have some seating up there with some cushions. Behind the captain's chair, tackle storage, three drawers. Two captains, uh, ladder, two ladder back chairs, okay, with their armrests and whatnot. The upholstery on the uh, uh, captain's chairs is in good condition, a little scuff on this armrest and whatnot, but overall I'd say the, the upholstery on the, uh, uh, the, or the condition of the upholstery on the cockpit bolsters and the uh, seats is in good condition. Hard top, four rod rocket launcher, a couple of spreader lights, electronics box. And then up at the helm, we have a display of gauges. The boat is equipped with the SmartCraft gauges, so, uh, which is the digital display, and is giving you the feed, uh, feedback from the computers on the motors uh, as far as fuel consumption and whatnot. Compass at the center of the helm here. Tilt wheel. We have our switch for the uh, Lumar windlass. And then we have our trim tabs. Accessory switches are located below that, and uh, you do have your fresh box uh, spreader lights, fresh water, wash down, the uh, manual pump for your bills, pumps, etc. and all that's in working order right now. Batteries are conveniently located up forward and out of the bilge, okay, so they're high and dry. A little more cubby storage over here in front of the uh, passenger side, and then, well, let's take you down below and show you the cabin. Once down below and in the cabin, you'll notice that we have a forward berth for sleeping, okay. Um, this does become you can do a little center table here if you want to do some picnicking down below and whatnot. A little bit of storage compartment. We have a range stove and refrigerator which are in working condition. Boat is equipped with shore power battery charging. does have the air conditioner and the air conditioner is operational. Our control panel for the 110 volt and 12 volt systems are over here to your right as you come down the steps. Okay, and notice that we have the battery switches here as well. Okay, so that's all conveniently located. Our stereo is mounted down below. It's a CD stereo. You have plenty of uh, cabin lights, plenty of a uh, window here to give you a little, if you want to open up for some ventilation, you can, but also gets plenty of lighting and lights up the cabin. The 293 you'll see in the pictures also equipped with the large aft cabin sleeper. And then 
Also to the right, coming down below, we have an enclosed marine head with shower. Okay, and the boat is equipped with a holding tank and whatnot. So that pretty much concludes the uh, overview of the uh, 293 Mako. Take a good look at the listing at the bottom. We'll have all the the uh, options that are, or, or features that are listed. And uh, well, as you can see, the liner inside the cabin, the upholstery, everything down below is in great condition. Everything is operational. And then top side, like I mentioned before, gel coat's in good condition. A couple little scratches here and there on the outside of the hull, but for 2002, I'd say it's in very good condition. Uh, hard top's in good shape. Aluminum's in good condition. A little bit of pitting, but uh, well, it's a saltwater environment, so you, that could be expected. Uh, overall, I'd say the boat's in great condition. And uh, well, let's fire it up. Take it out for a quick spin. Good to go. video presentation in the Mako 293. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see the boat, the motors, uh, everything's in good condition. Motors run great. Um, condition of the Joko, like I mentioned before, a couple of minor scratches on the outside. All the other systems are operational on the boat. My name is Damien from West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or write me an email. God bless and have a great day.